there's quite a lot of power and data um, signals being passed in and out of this box um, between this and the machine. Um, most of that is going to happen via these two gland plates, um, which make it nice and easy because you can remove them. Um, I put in two here. I think I'm probably going to run separate power up to the a separate 13 amp supply up to the uh, variable frequency drive. So that's what those two are for. So I've got the mains power in, variable frequency drive um, power in. Um, I'm also going to have two more um, two more holes here with two more glands. Um, one for the water pump um, power going out to the water pump um, and then one for the power going out to the spindle. Um, so those two will, will sit here and so that will be a, a little four uh, with all their cables running up running up here. And then near the drives then going to have um, X and Y so the wires will come out um, and down and then from Y out and, out and down. Um, and then Z here, and then over here, I've only got, I'm, I'm a bit short on glands at the moment, but um, there's three there, there's, there'll be another little cluster of four, um, and that little cluster will have um, the proximity switches um, and the e-stop and the limits um, all coming out of it. So that's all 24 volt. Um, this is the power going out to the motors from the drives, and then all the, the high voltage stuff over here. So again, trying to keep everything separate. So I'm going to drill out all the holes next. Um, and then when I've got the rest of the glands, um, that will be uh, that will be those two gland plates complete. And then up at the top here, I've then got the ethernet cable going out of the top. And then that can that can then come down to, um, to connect with the computer um, and the controller up here. So I've marked on here where I want the glands to go and now I'm just going to centre punch. When I'm drilling metal, I always like to centre drill the holes first because it just helps to stop the um, drill bit from slipping. Now, I definitely my recommend a step drill for can actually drill the holes because it won't it won't kind of try and pull itself through the through the metal like a standard drill bit well Fluid. Life a bit easier. 